Hello and welcome to In the Hyperloop. My name is Blake and this week's episode we're featuring Next Loop. Before we dive in, just a quick reminder that the Hyperloop relies in the Hyperloop relies on support from viewers like you. You can support us on Patreon. So if you like what you see, uh, click the link in the bottom. So right now we're going to talk about a group called Free. They took place, they took part in the Hyperloop One version. Virgin Hyperloop One Global Challenge, and they put together um, an architecture and industrial design application for Hyperloop in Mexico. And they've been around for about 15 years. Um, they are led by Fernando Romano, and Next Loop is a consortium of, of groups looking in depth for intermodal hubs and transit oriented development across central Mexico. So they will link across. Um, cultural, industrial, manufacturing centers, as well as harness over 30% of the population, and nearly 40% of the GDP, it's connecting Mexico City, the capital and the largest city, with El Bajo, uh, cities of Quarantino, Leon, and Guadalajara, uh, into one giant megapolis city. So um, it's going to be really interesting to follow up and see what kind of um, you know, impact this will have and perhaps getting built but they really want to link together technology industries, reinforce a network of top universities, R&D centers, and you know, really radically change how people commute um, and live around this region. So let's check out um, their website. Uh, they had a lot of great marketing. Um, of course, this is an ongoing project, um, and this is the video that they created. So it's a little bit long, but uh, we'll just kind of start and hopefully watch it all. Come on, Vimeo. Mexico City is the most congested city in America and second most congested in the world. 219 slow. hours are wasted in traffic per person every Mexico year. What if, instead of sitting in traffic for an hour and a half, the Mexico investments in the aerospace sector and Quintero is the center? Pilot, so what if a last-minute change to your supply Mexico. chain could be adjusted in only Mexico. a day? Really kind of Small and medium-sized cities are Mexico. the fastest growing. Really Leon's population is projected to grow 75% by 2050. What will a transit-oriented development of the future look like when commutes between cities become minutes? Go at a leading tech company and make it back home in Mexico City for dinner. To improve Mexico's connectivity, the federal government launched the most ambitious infrastructure program ever. There are 223 ongoing transportation and communications projects. The Hyperloop would go between these uh, four cities in central Mexico. With an investment of more than $100 billion, building upon the most significant infrastructure projects, the Max Loop Corridor will connect the second largest airport in the world to Queretaro, Leon, and Guadalajara. It's a long distance. I don't exactly know how far A Hyperloop is. cargo what station to the north. Can this is a um, freeze design as well, I believe. Be easily integrated into the airport's cargo terminals and infrastructure. Phase one is projected to serve airports. 68 million people a year and 120 million by phase two. Right a Hyperloop so passenger big. station to the south of the airport's airport passenger terminals units. will accommodate an already growing Airplane number cargo. of travelers. The Hyperloop station. So we're looking at the station right here, kind of the entrance. Um, of the main trunk line. It will be a hub connecting to the international airport as well as subways, buses, cars. This is interesting. Uh, they have a helipad on the top with glass, but then they have arrivals and departures for Hyperloop and then um, connection with the airport. Um, and it, it looks kind of like a Hyperloop 1 design. Um, it's hard to tell if the Hyperloop pods are. Oh, they're all kind of stacked together in the center. Huh. Oh, that's for the airport. So I guess these little white things are the Hyperloop pods. That's some other people mover for the airport. And then you see vehicles, I guess, and cars and taxis and subway in the basement. Helicopters, drones, and any other future innovative transportation solutions. She just said. Observatorio is an expanding intermodal hub. 
a potential expansion of the Hyperloop route could bring the western side of the city to the airport in minutes. Quintero will be a key city for manufacturing Hyperloop components, offering an ideal foundation for a Hyperloop supply chain and headquarters. The station will be located around the already booming aeronautical industries to generate not much traffic on those streets. Create a new symbiotic relationship with potential Hyperloop industry. Notice the small drone in the corner. ...and developments. Lyon is the center of a constellation of smaller cities of historical and industrial significance. Lyon and Guanajuato are part of the 34 UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Mexico. The Hyperloop station... I wonder if this is like a pod terminus, and then this is like where people get in and out, and maybe this is where they uh, do maintenance or switch out batteries or something, I'm not sure. And can further detonate this potential growth for a network of rapidly expanding cities. Like the At the forefront of innovation focus. and technology, Jalisco is the first state in Mexico. Um, it appears that the tube is somewhat Transparent? No, it's not. It can't be transparent. To have an innovation minister. Oh, so much transparent. Again, we see that a lot with groups. So you can see pods going through. Um, no real technical information on that. Or right. The Guadalajara Hyperloop station is strategically integrated with the public transportation network for ease of access to public facilities. Only 27 minutes. Hyperloop could transform the entire region into a hyper city. What happens when transportation connections link 35 million people in one of the world's most visited countries with one of the fastest... I think that seems pretty interesting. Uh, we'll continue to monitor Next Loop and uh, see what other kind of groups in that region like California or Texas, what they have planned for connecting the United States to Mexico and all the factories that are near the border. So until next time, stay in the loop and subscribe to In the Hyperloop.